copycat K. Moulton strikes again. When will K. Moulton ever have her own identity? When? When will she stop cosplaying Megan and even Princess Diana? Because time and time again, she's always coping even the outfits that Megan wore back in 2020. K. Moulton is coping Meghan Markle. When will she stop? And my family, members of the squad are calling out K. Moulton for what she's doing. Coping Meghan Markle. I mean, my family, here's the story. Now, K. Moulton went out for this early childhood shipping up whatever thing she speaks about initiative to talk about you know early childhood and stuff blah 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 i don't know much about it because it's all for pr it's all nonsense there is nothing that will ever ever come out from kim Milton's, you know early childhood or shaping us whatever it is she's doing now kim Milton stepped out wearing one of our trusty Alexander McQueen blazers in a bone color over a matching top with black cigarette pants. Her favorite Gianvito Rossi pumps and gold and diamond hoop earrings from British jewelry brand Asprey. And members of the squad online are calling out K. Moulton for copying Meghan Markle once again because the outfit that she wore is similar to the one Meghan wore back in 2020 from head to toe. When will she ever search for our own identity? My family. You know, I hate that Meghan was trashed for what Kim Moulton is now being praised for. That makes me sick. And I call that racism. This is what they're doing. That's how they be, they've been treating Meghan Markle. Time and time again. And my family, even someone on Twitter said this. At this point, I want that is Meghan to come out in an Ankara outfit just to see if Robot K. Milton will copy that outfit too. No doubt that Kate has a Meghan Markle lookbook. Indeed, indeed, it seems like K. Milton does have a Meghan Markle lookbook. Now, someone Someone said that it is a deliberate strategy to overshadow Meghan Markle's, you know, image. But that can't work. That can't work. I feel like it's trying to get headlines off the back of Meghan Markle. Because what does Kate achieve by playing dress up like Meghan? What normally happens... What the press does is compare the outfit that she has worn to what Meghan wore back in 2020. And then what do they do? They trash Meghan for it and then they praise K. Milton for it. That's what they normally do. Time and time again. Despite Meghan not living in the UK anymore. That's what they normally do. And that makes me sick but it's true. That's what they normally do time and time again. So Kim Moulton, by trying to dress up like Megan, is looking for those articles, praising her while seeing Megan trashed on print, online, by UK tabloids. That is what Kim Moulton is basically doing. That's what Kate is doing. Now, 
my family someone said that whoever believes that coping and pasting without without actual talent equates to success fail to remember the milli vanilli effect what comes off like a master plan always ends with tears in the end same for k milton all the cosplaying in the world won't stop prince william dumping her for rose hanbury <laughs> someone says that alluding to, to those allegations that william cheated on k milton with rose hanbury those alleged infidelity rumors that you know are hanging on william's head now someone said that kate may be playing the long game to obscure megan's impact i would not be surprised if megan's accolades are shifted to kate decades from now dressing like megan will confuse future generations and it will be easier for historians to create keep Milton's for what Megan has done for Megan's work to credit Kate not Megan for Megan's work my family this makes perfect sense this makes perfect sense for instance my family we saw how Kim Milton participated in that you know vigil for after Sarah Everett lost her life because she was being harassed by a Met Police officer. And that those protests over the death of Sarah Everett were held to be illegal. But Kate went there. And then the police removed Kate's name from that illegal protest and put megan's name there to claim that it was megan who was present at sarah everett's vigil not megan markle yet it was k milton who was there so my family yes indeed this makes perfect sense indeed my family kate is playing the long game to obscure megan's impact It would not be surprising if Megan's accolades, her accomplishments, are shifted to Kate decades from now. And dressing like Megan will confuse future generations. And it will be easier for historians to credit Kate, not Megan, for Megan's work. I feel like that's what you know they are doing. That's a good point, really. Good, good point, really. That's what the royal family, K. Milton, are doing. Trying to erase Megan from the history books. Megan's work, her accomplishments from the history books. And you see why it's even more and more important for Harry and Megan to speak up, to tell their story in their own words. To prevent this from happening, this erasure from history, we see what Charles even is doing, putting his coronation on the same day as Archie's birthday. Now, why would anyone do that? Why would a grandfather do that? To erase the fact that Charles has biracial grandkids from the history books. That's why. Erasure. Erasure. My family. And that's why it's even more important for Harry and Meghan to tell their own story in their own words. Highly, highly important. Now, my family, someone said that unlike Kim Milton, Meghan is more than her clothes. Leave the UK to Kate. Meghan is focused on the rest of the world. 
someone said that. Now my family, someone else said that Kim Milton just keeps copying Meghan Markle time and time again. Someone said that, ha, I knew that this look was done before. Copycate strikes again. She always copies Meghan Markle time and time again. Now, someone said that, oh, and this is the woman, Kim Milton, who thought that Meghan wanted her fashion contacts. Yes, yeah, she copies every outfit that Megan wears. Every single outfit. The utter level of hypocrisy coming from Kim Milton. My family. The utter level of hypocrisy. Now, my family. Someone said that, you know, poor Kim Milton. Always coping Megan Markle time and time again. Someone said that I keep thinking about how close that they, Kate and Megan, could have been if only they had accepted the Duchess of Sussex. It would have been a fantastic team. But my family, in the royal family, there is so, so much jealousy. As you all know just how jealous Kate and William were of Harry and Meghan's star power. And in the palace, that is just not allowed. You know, that's not allowed. And thus the palace smeared Harry and Meghan Markle. That's what they did. And it was so, so wrong and cruel and evil. Now, my family... Someone said that the only difference is Kate is dressing for PR with no gain. We have not had her speech or a charity or organization discussing the gain because of Kim Milton. Megan is stylish and also intellectual. And when she puts her name in something, it is of value and also productivity. Kate is cosplaying Meghan Markle. My family, someone said that. Now someone said that she has to copy Meghan Markle. How else would she receive any attention from the public? Someone said that, my family. Someone said that. Indeed, Kate always copies Meghan Markle. Time and time again. She is not original. She has no identity of her own. Camelton does not have that. And that is very, very true, my family. Now, my family, aside from that, there is something else that I want to talk about, my family. It's about the Daily Fails sudden worry about Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, my family, and her relationship with Meghan Markle. My family, Keza said this, that I lecture with you, my family. First of, first of all, it's important to note this, that the tabloid don't want, you know, Meghan to have relationships with anyone. And for that re relationship to be positive, they want it to be negative, something that they can exploit. They want members of the royal family to leak stories about Harry and Meghan. They don't want for Eugenie or Beatrice to ever have any close re relationship with Harry and Meghan. That's not, you know, what they want. And no wonder they target anyone whom they deem as being potentially even close to Meghan Markle. You know, that's what they normally do. 
And here's what Kezar had to say about this, please. And I quote, It's been clear for a while that Prince Harry and Meghan are quite close to Princess Eugenie, the younger York princess. Meghan has said that before she met Prince Harry, she had met Eugenie. And Harry described how Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank spent time with Meghan while Harry and Meg were first dating. It is clear that the two couples have been close from the beginning. Eugenie and Jack lived in Frogmore Cottage for a while and Eugenie has visited California and spent time with her cousin in Montecito, as you have seen my family in the Harry and Meghan documentary. Eugenie hanging out with Prince Harry, my family. And so obviously, the Daily Fail had to write a three-page screed about Beatrice and how she feels about Meghan and Harry. Because Daily Mail always have the power of, you know, telepathy to, to read people's minds and even they know what someone is feeling. <laughs> Daily Fail, the utter level of hypocrisy. And some highlights Keza said from their unhinged piece says this, and I quote, Princess Beatrice Meghan Dilemma, royal who is fiercely loyal to the crown and her parents faces awkward choices after Faji distanced herself while Sister Eugenie is BFFs with the Duchess. My family. I feel like the only reason anyone wants to distance herself from Harry Meghan is to prevent themselves from being bullied by the media. And Faji, we saw what she did, for instance, of how she would go on UK media and say she hasn't met Megan, she has not met Megan, and then go on US TV and say Megan is good for Prince Harry. That tells you, you know, of how they, they behave in the UK and how they behave in the US. It shows how two-faced people like Faji are, but that's what most of them do. Even the carnival of so-called experts, they go to the UK and, tell, and trash Harry Meghan. They go to the US media outlets and you see them at least trying to use common sense. My family, that's what I have seen and noticed. That's how they operate in the UK versus the US. Because it shows the level of ignorance in how they view their readers and people who watch their TV shows. In the UK, people who watch and believe what the Tobit tablets clearly have a low level of education. And the tabloids, you know, take advantage of that. In the U.S., people are more intelligent, minus the people who watch Fox News, owned by Rupert Murdoch. People are intelligent. They use the basic common sense. And that's basically just how, you know, they behave in the U.K. versus the U.S. Now, here's what, you know, Daily Fail has been saying. The Beatrice is struck, stuck in the middle. And while Meghan Markle may, may have fallen out with Faji and be based with Eugenie, there is one royal in the Oak family who is stuck in the middle. Beatrice, Princess Beatrice, who is private. And unlike her younger sister or mother, has never offered comment on the romance between her cousin Prince Harry and Meghan. 
Beatrice, mother of one, has plenty of mutual friends with Megan, including joint BFF Misha Nono. While the two women are also believed to have attended numerous showbiz parties and role events together over the years. That's what they are basically saying. And my family, first of all, these tabloids have no access to people who are close to Meghan Markle. They can only ever get access, access to Faji, but not to, to Meghan Markle or Prince Harry. So my family, they don't know what Meghan feels. They don't know what relationships Meghan has with other members of the family, like you know, Beatrice or Eugenie. What they're doing is just speculating. That's what they're doing. And they're also saying that Prince Harry, in his memoir, talking about Prince Andrew, affected his relationship with the York sisters. My family, what did Harry say? Harry said what everyone knows, that Andrew was accused of sexual assault. That's the truth. Everybody knows that in the entire world, my family. And so this narrative that because Harry spoke of Andrew in his memoir and talked about what Andrew was being accused of, that that has ruined Harry, his relationship with, you know, Beatrice or Eugenie. My family, come on. That's an obvious, you know, lie. Harry only spoke the truth. Harry only said what everybody knows, that indeed Andrew had been accused of sexual assault while telling Megan that they would not lose their security because Andrew did not lose did not lose his my family that's what Harry told Megan Markle but Harry was wrong because they stripped him and Megan of of their security now my family also they are saying that the cousins have a WhatsApp group that such is the closeness between the cousins. That they are all part of a WhatsApp group. Where they exchange messages on upcoming events and family news. And although it is believed Beatrice and Harry likely catch up through the group chat, through the group chat, very little is known about her re- relationship with Megan. That's what they are basically saying. My family, they're so interested in knowing more about Megan Markle. I mean, and yet they call Megan irrelevant. The utter level of hypocrisy. My family. So Daily Mail says, apparently, that, you know, they have a WhatsApp group. A cousin's WhatsApp group. And that Harry does speak with his cousins through that WhatsApp group. However, not much is known about Megan's relationship with Beatrice. My family, the tabloids, Daily Mail in particular, must stop this obsession that they have with Megan Markle. They must stop. It's unhinged and it must be called out. They wanted Megan to leave, she left. Whoever Megan hangs out with, talks to, is none of the business of a racist tabloid back in the UK. They must back off. And Beatrice has not said anything about Harry and Megan. Since Harry and Megan stepped back as senior members of the royal family back in 2020, Beatrice appears to have had fewer interactions with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. That's what they are saying. I mean, my family, why are they focused on Meghan's interactions? Haven't they called Meghan irrelevant? 
why do they care so so much about who Megan talks to, speaks to, interacts with, my family? Why can't they just focus on the royals they have back in the UK, on William K. Moulton, for once in their lives? I mean, William can't even get the attention of tabloid media for just five minutes. They are more focused on who is close to Meghan Markle. Who is around Meghan Markle? Because Meghan gets them clicks. Enough is enough. Daily fail, tabloids must focus on the ones that they care about, they claim they to care about, like William Kimmelton, and leave Harry and Meghan alone, once and for all. This is too much, really. This is too much. You know? Back in 2020, Beatrice herself got married in a low-key ceremony because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But Harry and Meghan did not attend because they were in the U.S. fleeing the abuse and hounding of the UK media. My family. And my family also, they are saying this, that On Beatrice's time in the spotlight, Beatrice has the father into the spotlight after Harry and Meghan left and has been loyal to the crown and that she has been picking up more responsibilities following Harry and Meghan's decision to step back. My family, allow me to just say this because this entire talk, trying to connect Megan with Beatrice, is just meant on getting a click by the media off of Megan Markle by using Megan's name. Because first of all, even the media itself does not focus on these engagements done by Beatrice. And that's the truth. They don't focus on that. They're more focused on the bullying and the hounding of Harry and Megan. They're more focused on attaching anything to Megan and Harry's name because that gets them the clicks. But yet they call Harry and Megan irrelevant. The hypocrisy is just so, so astounding, really. And Kazam says that, can someone explain what the heck this is about? Why? Did Daily Fail feel the need to underline the fact that Harry and Meghan are close to Eugenie, but not Beatrice? Like, I think Beatrice is kind of quietly messy, but to her credit, she has never said one word about Harry and Meghan. And she is not leaking Anything about Harry and Meghan behind the scenes. Part of me thinks that this is Beatrice emphasizing to her uncle, King Charles, that she can be loyal to the crown and be a working royal. Like, see, I'm not even close to Prince Harry and Meghan. Let me be a working royal. Which is what I think she wants, Keza says. She was clearly auditioning for a public role last year and she and her husband definitely want to keep being on the good side of Charles. Is the best way to do that by pointing out all the times Megan and Beatrice one not in the same room at the same time? I don't know. Keza ends the article by saying that, my family. My family, it appears to me that to be loyal to the crown is by attacking Harry and Meghan or by saying that you are not close to Harry and Meghan. You don't speak to them. That's how, apparently, you are being loyal to the crown, my family. Because William and Charles have 
decided to exile Harry and Meghan from the UK. Because Harry refused to abandon his wife and kids and openly spoke about how he and Meghan were poorly treated and the racism also. Harry and Meghan talking about that, talking about that also. My family, it is definitely shameful and disgraceful that for you to earn points with Charles or William, somehow you have to attack Harry and Meghan. We saw what Sophie did even in the last, you know, communal event that Meghan and Harry were present before they left the UK. For they fled the UK. How Sophie was being mean because she wanted to earn some points with William. Because they wanted, you know, that title, Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. And they got what they wanted. It's shameful that in the royal family that calls itself a family, that you have to pick sides of which faction you are allied to. And then call yourself a family. A family does not behave or engage in that manner. A family loves, protects. But that is not what happens in the royal family. A dysfunctional family. A farm and one they're being called, you know, a family. You no know, one of they're called, you know, a farm, not a family. And my family, what Daily Mail is doing is they're plucking nonsense out of thin air because somehow, somewhere, they have been instructed every day to come up with anything and put Harry and Meghan's name on it because that sells papers. That gets clicks. And this is just another story for that, my family. And my family, more reason as to why Harry and Meghan left the UK to escape this toxicity. And indeed, they did the right thing. They did the right thing, my family. My family, Camilton, should stop copying Meghan Markle. And tabloids must just, for once, stick to what they say. They call Harry and Meghan irrelevant. Then stop talking about them. Stop writing articles about Harry and Meghan and focus on the ones you call relevant and leave Harry and Meghan alone, my family. And those who are true family members who love you unconditionally will always be by your side, my family, in good times and bad times. will always find a way to be next to you. And not try to distance themselves from you. If they are true family. If they are your true loved ones. And that is the truth. And nothing but the truth. My family. Hate never wins. Only love wins. And with that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever growing family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Libertana and Gloria Ragland. We continue to expose the hypocrisy that is the royal family. The royal cult. That calls itself a family. He never wins. Love wins. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.